Hi everyone, Ryan from Gray's Classic Cars and Bikes. I've been asked to come down and have a look at this Commodore that's been sitting for over 20 years. Pretty sure by the shape of this uh, rear spoiler we all know what it is, but let's uh, take the cover off and have a bit of a look. Well, as you can see, it is a VL Group A Walkinshaw. They built 750 of these. These were the first of the fuel-injected V8 Holdens. Uh, they are underneath the uh, management of Tom Walkinshaw after Peter Brock and HET left Holden. They, they split. These were a pretty controversial car when they were first manufactured. A lot of people had their loyalties to Peter Brock and they were slow off the starting blocks when they were on the market. Uh, they took a while to sell, but since then they've become a very, very desirable car and the, the price has gone through the roof. Even though this car needs a resto, it still has the original owner's books with it. It was sold new in Queensland. Um, the car's been sitting, as I said, for over 20 years. Uh, it does fire up and start and run, uh, but it does need a full resto. As you can see, it's been sitting in a shed down in country New South Wales. The paint, it needs attention, it needs a full repaint. But it's all there, it's still the original engine, it's got all the original running gear in it and these things are super collectible. We've sold a couple over the last couple of years and made 200 plus. Um, and they're just a great car, limited build. Any Australian muscle car that's a limited build uh, is always very collectible. And the interior trim is in surprisingly good condition. Like it's, it's dusty and dirty, but it'll come up good with a clean and a shampoo. It's got the armrest, got all the belts. So it's, it's all there. Let's have a look under the bonnet. And the car, you'll notice the bonnet scoop is still the right color because being fiberglass, it doesn't fade like the steel does. Same with the front bar. It's still got the genuine Holden headlight glasses. They haven't been replaced or aftermarket. It's got little joints here in the fan shroud, in the bonnet. And like, yes, it does need a full resto, but the tags have never been off the car. It's got the HSV build tag, plus it's got the Australian compliance plates on it as well. All the walk through induction's still there. Um, you just don't see them like this. Like, it's still got all the stickers up here for the R134 gas. Uh, the guys put braided hosing on it at some stage. But, um, gee, I'll tell you what, this is, it needs a rest day, but it is still probably one of the most original walking chores you'll see. Like, it hasn't been touched, hasn't been tampered with, which I think is pretty special. So, it's probably the roughest walking chore I've ever seen, but it's all genuine. So, if you want any more information, give us a call on 1300 Classic or shoot us an email at classic at graze.com.au. But it's coming up at Graze the end of the month.